Hello, this is Tomasz Kaman of Avaya and this video is about how to add a duplex communication manager to system manager 6.3 for administration and software management purposes. Uh, system manager provides a common central administration of some of the existing IP telephony products. This helps you to consolidate the key capabilities of the current suite of integrated management administration products with other Avaya management tools on a common software platform. Communication manager related features of system manager include the following endpoint management, template management, inventory management, element cut through to native administration screens, report management, software and firmware management. Feature ab features above are used in Communication Manager set terminal connection and SNMP. Proper configuration of both components is key to the features to work correctly. And now let me demonstrate these steps on our lab system. First of all, System Manager requires a dedicated Communication Manager user account with shell access enabled. The steps to configure the CM account are the following. The first step is to log on to the CM set interface, which we have already done, and you can see the set interface on the screen. And after this, we locate an unused user profile. We can do that using the list user profile command. And you can see here the list of the user profiles already configured. For example, we can see that user profile number 20 is not taken yet, so we will use that for our purpose. And after this, we will have to duplicate profile 18 and we will have to enable shell access on page 1 of that profile. So for the duplication, we use the command duplicate user profile 18. First, we specify the user profile number, which will be 20 in our case. Uh, as we have seen, it's not taken. And we specify a self-explanatory profile name. In our case, let it be System Manager Profile. And now, you can see here in the right column the option Shell Access, and you have to change that from No to Yes. And after that, you have to submit the change. After this has been done, we will be able to create an administrator account on the CM Web Management interface. After we have logged on to the CM Web Management interface, uh, we can create a privileged administrator account for System Manager that can be used by System Manager to log on and interact with CM. For that, you go to Security and click on Administrator Accounts in the menu on the left-hand side. And then under Select Action, you click on Add Login Privilege Administrator. And then you click Submit. The configuration page for, for adding a new Privilege Administrator opens up. And you specify a login name. For example, SMGR123. Other than that, you will also have to specify the profile, which will be the profile number that you have just, you know, created. You duplicated profile 18 and added shell access to. In our case, it was profile 20, so I select that. And you, of course, also have to specify a password or an ASG key if that you want to use for CM access. In my case, I specify SMGR. 1234 as the password. And click submit. You can see that the ad was successful for login SMGR123. So that step also completed. After this, uh, we are basically done with uh, configuring the part for the system manager terminal connection. We also have to configure, however, 
the SNMP setting uh, so that system manager can access communication manager using SNMP. You have to go and uh, select in the left hand menu the option called SNMP agents and the SNMP configuration page comes up. Here first of all under the IP addresses for SNMP access uh, section you either have to have any IP addresses selected or if you just want to allow SNMP access to CM to certain IP addresses make sure that if you have the following IP addresses radio button selected you have the system manager IP address in one of these fields below uh, this section in my case I just select any IP address after that is done uh, when you conf if you configure ver SNMP version 1 you have to specify both a read only and a read write community string or community name as is specified here there are some already some uh, default values that are specified so I, I, I just leave that and make sure that the drop downs after each section is set to enabled once that has been done you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click on submit and you can see the feedback from the system if everything went well it gives a feedback administration successfully changed there is one additional step that has to be completed you have to go to the agent status page and there you will have to stop and start the SNMP master agent to make sure that the configuration changes that we have just done will take place so I click on stop master agent now and wait until the master agent is stopped you can see here that it's the status of it is down right now and then I click start master agent and then it will be up again after a few seconds now the status is up again and now let us see what has to be configured and how in the system manager and now we continue the configuration with configuring the communication manager in system manager we are on the system manager dashboard right now from here we navigate to inventory and manage elements and once the manage elements page has loaded we click on new to add a new element from the type drop down we select communication manager and now the attributes page uh, has loaded here we specify a friendly name for our communication manager I just call it a CM1 in our case and you have to specify the in the hostname or IP address field the IP address of uh, server 1 in my case um, for my lab server the IP address is this and uh, for the alternate IP address you have to specify the IP address of server number 2 Once we have configured the IP addresses, we have to specify the login for the account that we have created on Communication Manager, which was in our case SMGR123. And you have to select the option either password or ASG key that you want to use for the authentication with the Communication Manager. In my case, I just used password authentication. So I specify the password that I have used when created the account on communication manager here you have to know that the port number should be 5022 if you are using an SSH connection and it should be 5023 if you don't use SSH so you just use Tana in our case we're using SSH so I leave the port setting on 5022 the checkbox here to add the communication manager has to be also checked which means that the communication manager will be added to the synchronization page of system manager and the CM objects will be synchronized so once we have configured this we click on the SNMP attributes tab to specify the SNMP settings and here you can select from V1 or V3 
depending on which version of the SNMP protocol you want to use. I click on V1 since that is the one that I like to use in my case and under the read and write community string fields you have to specify the same communities that you have already configured on the communication manager configuration web interface uh, that I have already shown you. The number of retries by default is 3 which specifies how many times system manager will attempt to send an SNMP request in case it doesn't receive a response within the timeout uh, value specified. If your connection is uh, stable and you have a stable network you can reduce this to 1. The timeout value specifies how long system manager will wait for the SNMP response to come back. By default it is 5000 milliseconds. For large systems the recommended value is 30,000 milliseconds or 30 seconds but in this field you have to specify it in milliseconds as you can see and then device type which you can just uh, leave on Avaya Aura communication manager so now I click on commit communication manager should be added to the system manager database okay so we're back on the manage elements page and now that we have added the CM the system manager you can see it is here in the manage elements list we can go ahead with the post configuration steps to make sure that the addition was successful and everything is in order for that first step is to navigate under inventory uh, you have to go to synchronization and then communication system and click on that and here you can already see that in on the synchronization page our CM1 is added and initialization synchronization is in progress and uh, it's currently working on the class of service group stage so that's good it means that system manager was able to log on to CM and begin the synchronization process system manager will also schedule a regular incremental sync to make sure that the information in communication manager and system manager are in sync. The second post configuration step is to go back to the system manager dashboard and then, then open the software management. Within software management you have to navigate to many software and communication manager. On this page you have to click on the get inventory button and click on now and that will start uh, an information capturing process that will collect and show the CM information in this list below and also under the TN boards tab the TN boards associated with that CM will have to be populated. Thank you for watching. We welcome questions and feedback on mentor at avaya.com and on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.